Yeah, I mean, so so we are seeing a pretty big pickup in IPO activity. So I think the supply-demand uh, balance for equities is becoming a little less attractive. Because think about it. For the last five years, we had companies buying back shares like crazy, like generating a lot of earnings growth from share buybacks. That story is starting to slow down a little bit. We think this year is going to be okay, but next year we start to see companies pause. And then on the flip side, we've got a ton of new issuance. So there's more supply, less demand. I mean, it's just, you know, again, that's why we're neutral on equities here. We've got a 2,900 target on the S&P 500, which is about 24 <laughs> points away. So it's not, not a lot of upside risk to the market. I do think that there are really interesting pockets of the market. That like are, banks. I love financials, U.S. financials. I think is the most underappreciated sector in the S&P 500. I mean, today it is trading at the lowest relative multiple to utilities we've ever seen. But yet financials are actually kind of utilities-like. I mean, they're, they're paying a very regular dividend. They're increasing that dividend. They're overcapitalized. Overcapital, they're regulated, just like utilities. So I think that there is an argument to be made that investors start to go back to financials for quality and yield rather than the levered growth that it represented back in 2007. Um, Jeff, just wanted to pivot back and, and to hit a topic related to trade that we haven't spoken about much, and that's the Chinese currency. You've been keeping an eye on that. What, what do you think that means for, for China's economy? Well, it's only about 1% away from a, a breakout to, uh, to lows we haven't seen in 10 years. I think that's important. China is attempting to use that as a pressure release valve. They're trying not to go back to stimulating uh, excessive credit growth or infrastructure spending that's uh, sort of good money chasing bad. They put reforms in place to try and avoid that. But look, they're going to be doing some aggressive things to try and re-stimulate their economy. We got the April trade data, uh, their internal retail sales data, their IP data doesn't look good. China's economy is slowing faster than they would like it to. They're trying to use the currency to help support that to exports to other parts of the world, but exports to Europe are slowing just as they're slowing to the U.S. So uh, look for China to unveil more stimulus measures in the coming weeks. We'll see how desperate that makes them sound as they head into the trade talks.